the, the real challenge is, is the workplace cultures and practices don't match what they're trying to achieve. So an example, a really easy example is billable hours. You know, if you want someone to bill so many hours per day, that means they're going to have to work over their contractual hours because they aren't factoring in the fact that they might have to do admin, go to the toilet, eat food, talk to their colleagues, socialize, and also, you know, eat uh, basic human rights. But that can, that's a challenge because then you say to people, well, we've got all of this well-being training, go and do this or, you know, attend this yoga class or can you attend this neurodiversity training? And people are like, I don't have time because I've got billable hours. I've got to, go, I've got to do this. So it, 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 until businesses make sure that their practices match what their initiatives are trying to achieve, there is not, they're not going to see the progress and they're actually going to, in my view, cause more damage because people go, how, what's the point of putting all of this on when you won't let us attend it or you won't make the space for us to attend it because the practices don't match. So that's for me is the biggest challenge in the legal sector. And I'm sure that that is very similar in lots of businesses because it's how they always did it. And so there's this disparity between how we've always done it and the old school way of thinking and the more progressive, innovative ways of trying to achieve inclusion and you know psychological safety that is not it's it's just it's there's a disparity 